So a very warm welcome to all of you to another lecture on the series on simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. In the last lecture, we had talked about multidimensional signals and looked at a rather surprising result. result. That was given the same energy per bit and the same noise variance distributed over all the dimensions, the 3 bit or the 3 symbol constellation performed much better than the two symbol constellation. The three symbol constellation performed much better than the two symbol constellation. So what do we do about it? This was uh, unexpected. So we simplified this or we changed this and we said that we then looked at the case for same energy per symbol and the three symbol constellation was still performing better than the two symbol constellation. So this was rather strange or this is uh, rather unexpected uh, but uh, theoretically if we try to justify it, it fits well within our notion of the union bound. So let us look at the three symbol constellation and the two symbol constellation. So let us first look at it theoretically and then go for the simulation results. So we consider a special or we are looking at a special class of multidimensional modulation known as orthogonal signaling. We are looking at a very special class of multidimensional modulation known as orthogonal signaling. In orthogonal signaling, all the all the transmitted symbols are orthogonal to each other or rather all the vectors because uh, we said that we can represent the code book or the constellation as a matrix vectors in the relation matrix R all the vectors in the constellation matrix are orthogonal to each other. So we had considered the identity matrix, we had considered the identity matrix as the constellation whose columns are orthogonal. Fine, the columns of the identity matrix are orthogonal. So now in case of a two symbol constellation, 
select symbol energy B E S then for a fixed noise variance and not over all dimensions the two dimensional 2D constellation is zero zero root over. This will be the two dimensional constellation, fine. And as a derivative, if the noise over all the shins is constant the total noise the total noise variance we get noise variance of n naught by 2 over each dimension fine so now if I plot this in the signal space, I have a point over root over E s here, I have another point root over E s here and uh, if I normalize with respect to the noise, normalize with respect to the signal to noise ratio or say right say forcing the noise variance over each mention to unity, we can do that, we can force the noise variance over each dimension to unity, we can write everything in terms of the signal to noise ratio and we get 2 E s by naught, here we get root 2 E s by m naught. So, the distance between these two points B min or the distance between these two points is 2 root over E s by n which is uh, fairly obvious how to calculate this. So, this is the distance and in case we look at a 3D signal, case of a 3D signal, noise variance per dimension per dimension is 3 and consequently the constellation can be written as three E S and not three E S by N not. This this so all the points, all the three points are we this so D min is this, so let me also write probability of error is less than or equal to. 2 q of or oh sorry q of not 2 q m minus 1 like not this points are equidistant and hence the bit error rate or probability of error is less than or equal to 2 q of min equals 6 Yes, by n naught. This corresponds to six, and uh, that yeah, that should be divided by two. So root over e s by n naught because this is d min by two, q of d min by two. So two q 
by 2 this equals 2q 3es or by n naught and uh, keeping bit energy constant in the two symbol case es equals e b and in the three symbol case case e s equals log to the base 2 3 e b. So, naturally this. Now, the q function is upper bounded by the exponential function. So, we can write p e two symbols as less than or equal to this is uh, a well known result minus e b by n naught and 3 equals or less than or equal to e to the minus 3 log to the base 2 3 e b by 2 n naught and twice this. So, naturally the pre log factor weighs less than the or the term before the exponential has a weight less than the term in the inside the exponential. So, the three symbol thing or the three symbol constellation performs much better than the two symbol constellation in case of the same symbol energy or same bit energy. For the same symbol energy case, so this is for the same bit energy case. Now, I will write the same symbol energy case. In case of the same symbol energy will be this by n naught here less than equal to 3 a s by n naught by 2 n naught again minus 3 by 2 a s by n naught. So, again this is smaller. So, you can uh, say that this 2 is much less than this 3 by e to the minus 3 by 2 being multiplied. So, naturally the performance of even with the same symbol energy is better for the three symbol constellation and this will go on improving as we increase the number of constellations in the symbol. So, now let us look at one more result. Say instead of keeping the noise variance constant across all dimensions or instead of saying that the noise variance per dimension changes with the increase in the number of dimensions. Let us say that or the total noise variance remains the same. Let us say that the noise variance per dimension remains the same. In case the noise variance per dimension remains the same, then for the two dimension case this this is the noise variance per dimension and uh, I see that
So, in this case, for both these, the minimum distance between constellation points remains unchanged, which is root 2 E s by n naught. And correspondingly, the probability of error varies like this. But the important thing here is, in this case as well, only the pre q factor or the multiplying factor of the q function changes. There is no change inside the argument of the q function. So, the performance would be worse, but uh, only marginally so. So, let us look at this change in performance when we keep the noise variance per dimension constant. So, let us look at this. The plots are generating. Oh, I need to stop this first because I need to remove this dimension A. If it is normalization factor, I need to remove. Then I need to run it again. Now, it is running. Let us wait for a few seconds and this will be ready. So, this is done and let us plot this again because of so this and this is the similar probability this is it so now let us repeat this for the three level constellation or the three symbol constellation This will take another minute. So, yeah. Yes. So, we'll copy this. And paste it here. So, this is for m equals 2, and this is for. 3. So, with an increase in the symbol error probability, the number of symbols or the within you can see that it is slightly worse, but at uh, higher or higher signal to noise ratios, this becomes almost constant, which is uh, as per our expectations. Oh, sorry, these become almost independent of uh, the pre q factor. So, they are almost identical, just that. Uh, uh, there is just a mild difference as predicted by our theory. So, this will be used for a later modulation scheme known as index modulation that uh, we will discuss slightly later. But before we discuss index modulation, there is another important topic that we need to cover that is known as non-coherent detection. So, we end this lecture here. In the next lecture, we will discuss non-coherent detection. Thank you. Mm -hmm.